Our new partnership, 0.1 nozzle orifice. Even tinier, even smaller, and it can do really high precision, super tight, very clean prints. Hey everybody, it's Dan here from Slice Engineering. We're here in Detroit at Rapid TCT 2025. Really excited about the show. Also really excited to talk about some of the cool things that we're announcing here today. First thing we're gonna talk about is our new partnership with Tekzaya. They're a Japanese manufacturer of micro dispensing nozzles, which are basically the nozzles that dispense parts and fluids for camera modules on smartphones. So if you've got an iPhone, you are using a camera that is made with micro dispensing technology and Tekdaya is the world leader in that technology. So they recently have decided to move into the 3D printing space. When they were looking for a partner in the US, they were looking for somebody that did high precision, high performance components, and we decided to work together. So we're really excited to announce that they're deploying their new line of nozzles with Slice as their exclusive distributor. The line of nozzles is called Kaika Fin. Fin is the open source nozzle standard that we developed and announced last year here at this show. Fin stands for free and open source insulated nozzle standard. I'll talk about that a little bit more later, but Kaika is a word in Japanese that means flower blossom. And if you're familiar with the cherry blossoms that happen in the spring in Japan, it's a symbol of prosperity and success and good fortune. And so these nozzles are built and designed with this concept of cherry blossoms in the spring, which is pretty cool and very Japanese. So the highlight of the Kaika Fin nozzle that we're launching today is its 0.1 nozzle orifice. So if you've never used a super tiny nozzle before, maybe you've used a 0.2 perhaps, but this is a 0.1, even tinier, even smaller, and it can do really high precision, super tight, very clean prints and uh, we'll be showcasing some of the ones that we brought here today to just really demonstrate the level of quality that you can do where it really looks like a resin print, but of course with FDM, with a thermopolymer, you can do a lot more interesting materials than what you could do with, with a resin printer. So really unique application here with a 0.1 nozzle. The way they're able to get this high precision is to have a different internal geometry. So their internal geometry is a 30 degree taper instead of a normal 60 degree taper. It's micro polished to a mirror finish on the inside, which is pretty wild. And then that micro drilling technology being applied to make that 0.1 nozzle orifice really tight and clean. Another thing that's really fascinating about the Kaika fin nozzle is the tip diameter is optimized for ironing performance. So when you're printing super fine details with a 0.1 nozzle, which is really an incredible sight to see some of the prints that come off of this. Being able to iron that top layer in a way that creates a perfect surface finish on that top layer is really important because you're after high precision details if you're using a 0.1 nozzle. So we've got some amazing prints here at the table that I mean, I've been in this industry for a while and it's very rare that I see something that surprises me. And this Hue Forge print with a 0.1 nozzle with the top layers iron is is just incredible, honestly. Multiple people have come up to the table and thought that it was a PVC like decal and not a 3D print. It's, it's really pretty amazing. You may have seen it on our socials. Uh, we'll showcase it again here in the video, but it's really an amazing example of what can be done when you really go for that high precision, high performance details on a 3D print that's made with normal FDM film. <laughs> The FIN nozzle standard that I mentioned earlier, again, stands for free and open source insulated nozzle standard. And FIN is really about creating the world's first insulated nozzle, such that the tip of the nozzle is not being cooled during printing. So part of what causes stringing and artifacts and defects in your print is because the tip of the nozzle is cooler than the rest of the hot end. And so the plastic is being cooled artificially before it should be, before it reaches the build plate or the model where the plastic material is being deposited onto. So by creating this insulated setup, 
we've eliminated that problem and allows you to produce just cleaner prints with less stringing in a more thermally efficient way. So Tecdia has joined us in deploying a nozzle for the Fin standard. So they're one of five manufacturers, including Slice Engineering, Tecdia, Vontech, Microswiss, and Diamondback that are producing nozzles to the Fin standard, designed specifically to go onto the Mako platform right now, which is for the Bamboo Lab machine. So if you've got a Bamboo Lab machine, you wanna increase your flow rate, you wanna increase the reliability of your hot end, or you want to be able to change nozzles for different applications, such as printing with a 0.1 nozzle, doing a quick swap, and then being able to go to a high flow, you know, 0.8 CHT nozzle from Bontech, you can do that with the Mako platform using the Fin nozzle standard. Part of the beauty of Mako is the quick change nozzle capability. So right now I've got a Kaika nozzle on here. Take it off a few seconds and I can then deploy a different nozzle. This is a Slice Engineering Gamma Master nozzle. It's abrasion resistant and has a very low energy surface coating so that plastic doesn't stick to the tip, which is also really useful. And now you swapped out to a totally different nozzle with a totally different application that can serve you in whatever you're trying to do with your Bamboo Lab machine. A lot of people ask us, why would I buy Mako? The key things that we talk about with Mako are its reliability. The roll cage structure that we have debuted with Mosquito years ago is being implemented on the Mako. What we've done is extended the melt zone inside of the heat sink in a way that it allows us to create an extended melt zone and increase flow rate by up to 65%, depending on the filament and settings that you're running. So what that means practically is if you've got a three hour print job, you can now finish it in two. Especially if you're running a print farm is a huge advantage. Or if you just like your stuff to finish faster, you know, people have criticized 3D printing for being too slow for many years. And this is a way to improve the speed on an already fast Bamboo Lab machine. So that heat sink inset has a roll cage structure built into it that makes this extremely rigid. I can, you know, bang it on the end of the table. I can, uh, crash it into a print and the reality is you're not going to break this unless you're really going at it with a hammer or something. It's designed to be able to withstand shocks in the X, Y and rotational directions just like our Mosquito hot ends that we're known for but deployed now on this Bamboo Lab platform. So you can say goodbye to broken heat breaks and having to replace a hot end because something failed. The other aspect of this of course is the swappable nozzles. As I mentioned there's five different manufacturers running the Fin standard, and we expect even more to join. In fact, I found out at the show yesterday, there's another manufacturer that's starting to make Fin nozzles. It's really a phenomenal standard. We encourage any nozzle manufacturers, if you've not seen the standard, it's available for free, complete full manufacturing details on our website. You know, make nozzles, make nozzles for your application, deploy them into this ecosystem. And we're gonna expect to see the Fin nozzles being used in a wide variety, not only in the Mako system, but in other systems going forward. As I mentioned last year, when we launched Mako at this show, we do anticipate deploying new versions of Mako for other printer ecosystems like Creality and others. But those are still in the pipeline and we're excited to talk about those at upcoming shows. If you're interested, and learning more about the products that we have in the pipeline or being a beta tester, for example, sign up for our email newsletter. Those of you that were signed up knew, for example, that the 0.1 nozzle was coming out at this show and got some of you came by yesterday, got to see a preview of it uh, before anybody else did. So if you want to know about cool stuff that's coming up before everybody else does, sign up for our newsletter at SliceEngineering.com. Thanks for coming to see us virtually here at Rapid CT today. If you like this video, Please remember to like and subscribe. Don't forget to stay zesty.